So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. And yes, there's a covered bridge behind me. I think I lied to you in the last video. I said I was on my way to Mount Pisgah State Park, and that's where I would see you next. We are on our way there, but forgot that there's a state, uh, yeah, not a state park, a covered bridge between here and there. We were just over at Vosburg Neck State Park, one of the newest parks here in Pennsylvania. But we have a covered bridge between here and there that we need to film. So this is Knapp's covered bridge. It is the only covered bridge here in Bradford County. We're all the way up here in Northeastern PA. So I, I kind of had to get this one since I had the opportunity here. We got someone coming through. Yeah, so like I said, the only covered bridge here in Bradford County. So I kind of had to get it. That's a cool shot right there. So I'm not sure when I'll be back up this way again. Yeah, look at that. So one thing about this covered bridge, you notice how high it is above the creek. This is the, this is known as the highest covered bridge in Pennsylvania. I don't think I'm going down there today. My as I keep letting you know, my one knee is kind of messed up right now, so I'm not gonna scramble down there, but yeah. So this is built roughly 1860. I've, always, I've seen other dates too. I don't think they quite know exactly. I still have one date of 1853 as well. I think 95 feet long. And you can see the design. The Burr Arch Trust there. All right, the FedEx guy just came through. Now this one has a nice little, kind of has a little walkway on the side. This this piece of wood right here kind of separates the driving part. You can walk safely over here. I don't think I've ever seen that on that kind of bridge. I'm not sure if it's intended for that purpose. But yeah, some of these, of course, as most with most covered bridges, this has, one has been re rehabilitated at some point. Because some of these beams definitely look, these look a little bit newer right here. And these look, these look old. These have that look to them. Yeah, and this is Brown's Creek, it's called, that we're going over. Let's see what kind of views we get on this side. Here's a view of it looking from this way. There you go. That's a pretty good view right there, too. Yeah, I, I like the setting of this one. A lot of people mention that this is one of their favorites. We're kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. Got the double burr arch. Got the one here and the one over here. Yeah, these definitely look like newer wood compared to some of these other ones. Yeah, this is uh, right outside the town of Luther Mills. So sometimes this gets called the Luther Mills Covered Bridge, too. There's kind of like a gorge down here. This stream flows through. I'm going to show you. Little windows on the side you can peek out. Looks like there's a nice trail down there. Anyway. Yeah, I like this one. I like the setting. The Naps Covered Bridge. It's basically a dirt road that goes up through here. All right, just one last look at it from this way. Yeah, it would be cool to get down below, but like I said, I'm not uh, particularly in a position to get down there right now. And I don't know, this is private property too, so I think we'll just let that go. Yeah, this one's, yeah, this, one had, this one's kind of open. Some of the ones we visited recently over, was that, Bedford County, they had almost all the sides were open, but this one's it's kind of like half walls going up. I like that openness. All right. The Naps Covered Bridge. All right, but you know what comes next, folks. It's time to take you across. I got to go back that way anyway, so on our way to Mount Pisgah State Park. So let's go drive across. All right, here we go. Let's go across Naps Covered Bridge. Make sure no one's coming. There we go, folks. All right, so it's onwards to Mount Pisgah State Park. So hopefully I'll see you there. 
Yeah, just beautiful, beautiful back here. All right, 